Buongiorno YouTube, it's Trevor here, summit or nothing, solo wild camping on Dartmoor, solo winter wild camping, it's been cold, it's been very cold, it's midweek, I've missed the worst of it, <laughs> all the snow at the weekend, but I'm hoping to catch some tonight, well the Met Office says expect snow, the BBC say so don't expect too much, so the bets are in, but I thought there's more chance to see snow up on the moors isn't there? So I've come to Sorton Tor and I'm going to mosey on over to Shellstone Tor for a little bit of a camp. Got quite a pack on today, 17 kilos. Yeah, I've bought the big pack, the Osprey Atmos, but we'll have a look at what's in there later. Get on over to the tour, we've got a little over an hour before the sun sets. Oh, and what tent am I in? I'm in the Taji 2, 3FUL gear, Taji 2, it's a four season tent. I was toasting it last time, but I was in my Rab sleeping bag last time. This time I'm trying out my new Nature Hike Snowbird, which is supposedly the same as the, uh, the Rab. Still pretty solid. It's pretty cold. The car was a minus one. It can only get colder, right? <laughs> Look at the ice collecting in here. And then up the top over there, it's the ice mines. It's where they used to mine ice. They built these big pits, and then they'd fill them with water in the winter, and then uh, they'd fill with ice, and then they'd ship ice. So there's a uh, corn ridge up there, looking white, proper white. And then over here, you see at the back is Black Tor, and then down in front of that, those rocks, this side of the valley, that's where we're going, Shellstone Tor. All right, I want to stop titting about now and get over there. I've got 20 minutes before the sun sets. And one thing I have noticed is how hard the ground is, rock hard. So I'm going to have fun, I think, trying to bury some stakes into the ground. It's going to be a bit of a mission. I thought it might be a good idea to grab a stone when I saw one. And maybe that will help hammer in some pegs. There's a big white wall of cloud emerging over there. Could be snow. Anyway, it'd be nice if this stayed like this for Christmas, wouldn't it? Have a white Christmas. I don't think it's going to. But uh, I'm treating this as my Christmas camp anyway. Why not? It's better than wet and windy Christmas camping. Oh, knackered. Don't do this enough. Especially when not with 17 kilos on me back. Hi, you know. Here we are though. Shellstone tour. Just in the nick of time too. Literally got 10 minutes. Look at all these rocks. For Vivian. Nice, hey? Over there. That's something I'm gonna do in the new year. A Bivy camp. Now this is where I usually camp. Here. With the view of Black Tor over there. But it's a bit windy today to be in that. So I think if we come around this side, pretty much cut out the windy. What's it like down here? It's a bit better here. Here then, let's get on with it. So we're gonna drag some of this snow away. Keep going. <laughs> Probably be easier to do this without my pack on my back. <laughs> Twat. <sighs> One more. One more stretch. That's it. Something like that. Let's get the pack off.
Okay. Already it's got windier here. It's typical. Put up my rock there. There we go, pitched up. I can't believe how the wind, just as soon as I started pitching up, has sort of swung around and now I'm right in the wind. But once you get those guy lines up on the poles, it does sort of hold it rigid. But something's damaged, hopefully it's not going to be an issue. Um, there probably is something I could do, but well, I'll show you it now. What's this? There was like a little bit clipped up over that, held it all together. But it's gone. Could have been flapped around in this snow somewhere. It's not in the bag, I've checked. Yeah, I've got like extra guy ropes. I could tie it up if it's gonna be a problem. We'll see what happens in the night. See if I need to. Hopefully it ain't gonna to get too windy tonight. It's a fucking nuisance. But yeah, I'm gonna start getting my stuff in the tent. But look at that, we've done it. And uh, in good time as well. The sun's still still not quite gone down but the clouds are moving at a fair rate over there Of course it has, because I'm filming. Right, I've got my firm rest. Neo Air. x Light, Flexi tail gear pump, which just won't stay on tonight. Anyway, I'm trying to blow up this. What I've also done this time, I've doubled up, I've bought like a fucking thing. I bought a rubber sort of foam mat as well with foil back foam mat you see. I'm doubling up. I'm taking precautions. I don't want to be cold. One degree in here so far. Okay, so I've got the roll mat set up now. And now I've got this. My new winter nature hike down sleeping bag. Like I say, it's, a, it's about half the price of the RAB. Similar sort of statistics. But, is it going to be any good? We'll find out. So this one comes from Camper Lists again. I'll put a link in the description below. I mentioned it's got these giblety things that wrap around you, keep all the heat inside. So that looks good, looks promising. So again, I've got the Nature Hike stove set. What I have forgot is the windshield. So hopefully it'll boil okay. But I've got like a winter gas canister over there. It's gonna have a coffee. Warm the cockles up. Well, here we are. Oh, let me pause this. 
here we are in the tent. What's the time? Five past six. I'm watching a film already. I'm in my sleeping bag already. It's just over one degree a minute ago. 1.8 it's saying. Still windy as hell out there. Flapping about. Um, a minute ago it did get down to 0.5 degrees. But it seems to have picked up in here. I don't know what it is outside. I haven't been out. Well, I have, but I forgot to take the thermometer. I've got two pairs of socks on. I've got some hand warmers. I was going to put a couple in my socks just to keep the bottom of my feet warm. So, yeah, I'm Christmasing it right up with a bit of uh, It's a Wonderful Life. It's like the opposite of Scrooge, isn't it? And then later on, I've got a Christmas horror film for later. Krampus. So, that's what I'm doing in my tent tonight. Uh, there hasn't been any snow yet. I will keep an eye on the weather. Report if there is any. Well, well I didn't finish the film and nodded off. I don't know if you know the story. It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful film. But it's like, a, it's a long way to get to the magic. It feels like it's, I've been watching it for like two hours and he's only just met the angel. Um, it's not snowing. It gone down into the minus figures just inside the tent but I must say I've been toasty as heck in the uh, nature hike sleeping bag these things here the hand warmers are crap they're not the ones you shake you just take them out and they're supposed to warm up but they don't really feel like they're getting warm I've put them in my socks just to get my toes back to life they don't feel overly hot it's like a hot breath anyway it's about eight o'clock at night I might have to think about cooking something to eat in a minute. Have something hot. What I didn't bring this year, which I did bring last year, is the mulled wine. Why didn't I bring the mulled wine? What's the matter with me? I could be drinking hot mulled wine right about now. Well, I'm out. Outside, it's cold. It sounded like it was snowing out here, but it was, it's just like sleep. It's not. Nothing to write home about. It's a bit of snow in the air, can you see it? It's quite blustery. It's very blustery actually tonight. It seems windier in that tent tonight than it did the last time I was in it. Up on King's Tour. It's that icy cornflake rain, isn't it? It's weird shining the light around. Uh, yeah, it casts shadows and rocks sort of emerge in the background and stuff. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I keep thinking someone's peering over things. And quite eerie. It's not proper snowing, but there's ice in the air. I did bring some oil in the bag meals as well, but I just fancy some of these noodles. These, just curry, curry flavour. If it is the same ones I had last night, they're really, really hot, got a kick. Just what you need on a cold night like this. <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> I'm smoking. <sighs> what my kids say when they do that. Good to see this sort of cold though, isn't it? Proper winter. And it's not even, you know, the worst of the weather, usually January, February, isn't it? No rain. Oh, noodles. Noodles. Film. That's the one. That's the one. Spicy. Good. 60p these are. <laughs> Bloody good. Yeah, I haven't put my thermals or anything on yet. Um, 
not even in my sleeping bag and it's uh i'm fine strange isn't it I sit at home the temperature drops between below 16 degrees and i'm like freezing but i'm sat here zero degrees in a tent fine it's weird isn't it it's mindset it's mindset, but yeah, scared to put the bloody heating on. I've got a smart meter and I hate looking at it. Every morning I get up and it's like more than it used to be at the end of the day. What a shit show, isn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling. Well, I'm not actually. I'm in a tent. I'm camping. But I think snow just avoids me. I think it's me. I've literally come up to the moor. To, to camp in snow, to see it snowing. And my wife's sending me videos of snow back at the house. My mate's messaging me from the town where I work, saying, guys, it's snowing like I just had to swap cameras, my GoPro just keeps shutting down. So what so I was trying to say, my mate is messaging me, saying it's snowing like mad in the town where they are. And uh, here I am, up on the high ground. And there's nothing. Every time I look out, it's it's almost just like sleep. See, barely anything. It's typical. It's me. So the GoPro kept going off. Now it won't go off. I can't turn it off. I can't do nothing with it. It's a gimmicky piece of shit, isn't it? Ridiculous. Oh, but it's too cold, Trevor. You've brought it out and it's cold. Well, my camcorders used to work. This is an action cam. First bit of action. And the fucking thing gives up. I'm going to take the battery out now just to turn it off. So I've got to undo all this fucking thing again. Do you remember I was staying last time? Uh, it annoys me doing that. Doing it again now. So no, it does sound like it's snowing out there. Shall have a look. Should have a look out. You can see it's starting to gather on the window. So there must be some snow going on out there. Yep, it's snowing. Papa. Well, there you go. It is snowing now. It's proper snowing out there, so I got my Christmas wish. <laughs> now I just have another Christmas wish that I can get off the moor okay in the morning. But here you go. Snowings. Camping in the snow. Sounds like it's getting heavier out there, to be honest. So, see what we wake up to in the morning. But yeah, it didn't take long for me to get cold out there that time. My hands just went freezing. And I wasn't making snowballs or nothing. Anyway, it's about 10 o'clock now, 10 o'clock at night. I don't know if it's even for the night. Get me a trichology pillow. I gave him one and it fell to pieces. But mine, I must have had that for three years now. I love it. In the morning, I put another film on. Gotta keep my eyes open, so I switched it all off. It seems to have stopped snowing out there now. At one point, it seemed like a blizzard out there. <laughs> it was loud, it was windy. But I was so toasty in here. It just didn't want to move. I haven't even made, I was going to make hot chocolate for bed. I haven't even done that. When you look back over the years now, all these winter camps that I've done and now finally I've got all the gear you know but this nature hike sleeping bag's fine having the right gear just makes it all such a more pleasurable experience and now I've got this tent and like the high sort of walls 
It's a thick canvas. It's keeping the weather out for the best part. I haven't tried it in proper rain yet. It was a bit misly when I was out in it last time, but it was windy. It's actually not too bad, it is. It's quite mild. It takes the sting off. Oh. Anyway, talking shit trip at one o'clock in the morning. All right, I was just getting up for a wee. Look, it's blown in under the door. My shoes are covered. They are. Look, my, my shoes are full of. <laughs> That one is worse than the other. Not ideal. I'm going to bung something in there. Let's try and... Right, I'm going to get a cold wet foot now. Let's have a look out there. So yeah, all right, fresh. Dust in the snow here. Covered. It's all blown off the tent by now though. It is morning because my work alarm's just got off. I'm quite happily lying. I don't need to get up yet. It's only half six. Sunset isn't till ten past eight. Sunrise. I don't know if it's got colder in the last hour. It feels colder just the last the last hour. It was nice all night. I suppose it. it hasn't snowed anymore. My God, it sounds rough out there, windy. This tent is flat like mad in the night. It wasn't quite as taut as it has been in the past. It's got to do with that clip that's missing off the top, hasn't it? Because last time, you know, I was in real winds. But it helps snug. Not this time. I did keep waking up in the night thinking I'd left the torch on because it was that bright in here. And even when I went outside for a wee in the night and I turned all my headlamps off. The moon was hidden behind the clouds, but it was lit up out there. You could really see quite clearly all the snow, I suppose. But yeah, I'd wake up in here and it'd be quite light. And I think, oh, it must be sunrise. And then look at the clock. It's like three in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to going out. I might put my long johns on just so I've got another pair of leggings to protect from this wind because it is whipping out there it's freezing in the wind. but it's been a camp hasn't it it's been a good camp winter i caught the snow <sighs> look at this mess in here and you think i've got to tidy this up i'm gonna get it all back into this backpack but then little by little and soon it all goes away, doesn't it? Until all you're left with is your tent. As always, there's a list of products I use in the video description below. Should be interested to see. And it's becoming a list now that is my sort of go-to list as well. I'm finding my groove, you know? This is what they call Baltic. Really cold out here. That fighting wind. Whew. What are these tracks? Something's been around in the night. There's our route home. It's still quite clear, you can still see the tracks that we want to take. That one up there. And over there. There's those prints again. Quite dainty, they're almost like cat prints. The beast, perhaps. Or probably foxes, more than likely. 
scavenging about. Let's pack up. Do one. There we are. That's where I was. <laughs> there we are. There I was. Let's go. <sighs> so there you go, anyway. That's Summit or Nothing 2022. Done. Sorry, it wasn't so great. Next year, I'm gonna get back on with it. Do it properly. So thanks all for watching. Thanks for being patient. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all again soon. Cheers.